to our service this morning. Today we celebrate the lives of St Timothy and St Titus, companions of St Paul. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And also with you. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Jesus said to the apostles, Go and make disciples of all the nations. Conscious of our failure to obey his commands, let us call to mind our sins. Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. May the God of all healing and forgiveness draw you to himself and cleanse you from all your sins, that you may behold the glory of his Son, the Word made flesh, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, who sent your Apostle Paul to preach the Gospel, and gave him Timothy and Titus to be his companions in faith, grant that our fellowship in the Holy Spirit may bear witness to the name of Jesus, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the reading. of Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn to provide for those who mourn in Zion, to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of the clean spirit. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. The response to the psalm is, the faithfulness of the Lord endures from generation Generation. The faithfulness of the Lord endures from generation to generation. O be joyful in the Lord, all the earth, serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence for the song. The faithfulness of the Lord endures from generation to generation. Know that the Lord is God, it is he that has made, that made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. The faithfulness of the Lord endures from generation to generation. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. The faithfulness of the Lord endures from generation to generation. Christ was revealed in flesh, proclaimed among the nations, and believed in throughout the world. Alleluia. In the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Luke. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. The Lord appointed seventy others, 
and sent them on ahead of him in pairs to every town and place where he himself intended to go. He said to them, The harvest is plentiful, but the labourers are few. Therefore ask the Lord of the harvest to send out labourers into his harvest. Go on your way. See, I am sending you out like lambs into the midst of wolves. Carry no purse, no bag, no sandals, and greet no one on the road. Whatever house you enter first, say peace to this house. And if anyone is there who shares in peace, your peace will rest on that person. But if not, it will return to you. Remain in the same house, eating and drinking whatever they provide, for the labourer deserves to be paid. Do not move about from house to house. Whenever you enter a town and its people welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick while there, and say to them, The kingdom of God has come near to you. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Please be seated for a moment. In our modern technological world, letter writing seems to be a dying art. Yet Paul's letters are so valuable as a source of information and give us real insight into how the early church evolved. Paul's letters to Timothy and to Titus were a gift and an encouragement. In his letters to Timothy and Titus, he shows genuine affection. He describes Timothy as a dear child of mine. And Titus he calls, my loyal child in the faith. So today, hot on the heels of the conversion of St Paul, which we celebrated yesterday, we celebrate Timothy and Titus, Paul's companions, honoured in the church for their devotion and faithfulness to the gospel. Unlike Paul, we might not write many letters, but perhaps if we send an email, text, or even a simple card, we too could consciously use words of affection, hope and encouragement like St Paul so that the recipient may receive them and perhaps it may be just what they need. Let us pray. Bless the church with the spirit of true discipleship. Give grace to all Christian people to show in their lives the healing power of the Gospel. Bring new labourers to hear the call and work for the harvest of the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear us. We pray for all nations, that they may know the peace that comes from above. Drive out evil which brings strife between people and nations, and bring light into the dark places, and fill the world with the knowledge of truth. At this time we pray for the increased tension between the West and Russia over the threat of invasion into Ukraine. May those involved in diplomacy and talks find a peaceful solution to the current crisis. Lord, in your mercy, Grant healing to those who are sick in body, mind or spirit, and grant skill to those who care for them. Among those who we know who are sick or suffering at this time, we continue to pray for Brenda Prophet, Eva Skelly, Vera Simmons, Marion Wheelman, George Hancock, George Dunn, and Anne White. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for the departed who have laboured for the good in this world. May their names be written in heaven and their joy everlasting. Among those who have died recently, we continue to pray for the repose of the soul of Bob Hurst. We pray also for those whose memory is treasured particularly at this time. Pray by name for Eddie Taylor, Ellen Morgan, Norman Aaron Smith and Andrew Simpson. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. 
Lord, in your mercy. And in a moment of silent prayer, we bring before God our own needs and concerns. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. We are fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God, through Christ our Lord who came and preached peace to those who are far off and those who are near. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Be with you. And also with you. 
Lift up your hearts. We give thanks to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living Word, through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh. As your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin, he lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. And now we give you thanks that your servants Timothy and Titus were called by your Spirit to preach the gospel to the nations and to bring to your people the glorious light of your truth. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy God, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you things. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Christ is the bread of life. When we, we eat this, this bread, bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, until you come in glory. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary, St. Simon, St. Timothy, St. Titus, and all the saints, May praise and glorify you forever, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom, and with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Rejoicing in the presence of God here among us, let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. God's holy gift for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy, 